great news there for tea farmers. Now, Malindi has a rich culture that draws influence from Africa, the Middle East, Europe and Asia. It is highlighted through small and animal sculptures, architecture and magical artworks. Tonight on Magical Scenes with Irene Mchumodim. She highlights the tourist attractions in Malindi, Kilifi County. The blend of culture and beach life makes Malindi an ideal destination. Picture this, understanding the traditions behind the people of Malindi getting the concept behind wildlife sculptures in Malindi and now the beach products. On one aspect, you have the rich historical influences of the East African heritage, the ancient traditions and customs that exist to date. Malindi also prides in a rich Swahili historical culture in which the people here believe it gives them a sense of identity and belonging besides having a sense of pride. As was the case back before the town was founded, fishing, hunting and agriculture are still a big part of Malindi's backbone. Much of the unique and diverse culture are shaped through art at the White Elephant Art Gallery Malindi has a collective exhibition of Kenyan artists and other countries in the African continent with at least 70 interesting works. The exhibitions, ranging from animal sculptures to magical artworks, create a sight to behold. <laughs> Uh, animation, journalism, dance, music, textile design. All these things are for people to see uh, and the festival is dedicated to people of Kilifi, dedicated to young, creative, talented people. So also all these events are just for free to share the knowledge, to share the experience. This is what we want to do. From elephant sculpture, artwork to zebras and antelopes gives one a reason to spend more time in this part of Kenya. The open spaces arguably remove distractions for an art viewer to enjoy and appreciate the work done on the exhibits. The white elephant exhibits are situated close to the Arabuko Forest and the wonderful Malindi Marine National Park. Malindi is one of the most scenic towns with warm sand beaches, high sand dunes and close to a vibrant river ecosystem. So we actually took Savannah, uh, one of my friends and uh, dear sisters, Face. She comes from the Kiza tribe, which is as close as we can get to Mekatilili. And we, we took her face and we used her jawline and her cheekbones to create this beautiful sculpture, and which we, we aim to sink into this beautiful ocean. Um, we're hoping that, that it can help with the reef restoration and can actually grow and keep evolving and put Kilifi on the map because Kilifi is a beautiful place and we believe that it can be a model for so many other different coastal towns. People always think so of galleries as something that uh, is, is in a building. And I mean, Mekatlili loved nature, so why not take art into nature? Irene Shuma Udim, Magical Sense, the county of Kilifi.